Hi, welcome to everyone in my channel doctor.com. If you like these videos, please consider to subscribe so that I can get encouraged to make more videos. So the point today we're gonna discuss to avoid double scraps in your dog's diet. We have all done it. Our cute little fury friend is practically smiling at us from beneath the kitchen table. The ears are perked and the tail is wagging. We know what our dog is after. Just a teeny tidbit from dinner would be delightful. And what could it hurt? It is just a bite or two after all. Hold Fudel's ears, he won't want to hear this. A dog's diet really should not contain table scraps. People, food is just uh, that for people. A dog's nutritional needs are uh, not the same uh, as a human's. Sure, we eat uh, some of the same things, but feeding your pet from the table is one of the biggest mistakes. For your pet a dog's diet doesn't require all the added goodies we put into our meals uh, let's discuss more about this point <laughs> so people have problems with obesity a dog can have this problem as well if your uh, dog's diet consists mostly of scraps from the dinner table chances are high that your dog will have trouble maintaining a healthy weight even a few pounds overweight can really make a difference in the quality and length of your pet's life curb the begging and stick to your guns so when you have a dog who is not a picky eater, it can be tempting to let your pet be the garbage disposal in the home. But really, this is not a good idea. Certain people foods can harm your dog and should not never be a part of your dog's diet. Crabs, for example, have been known to cause serious problems for dogs, even death. Chicken bones and popcorns can also be a problem for your dog. Permitting large quantities of chocolate can be dangerous in a dog's diet. So a poor diet even shows up out in the yard. When your dog's diet is not at its best, your pet's outputs will be greater in size, smell and mess. Benefits of choosing a healthy diet for your dog will be noticeable in your pet's health as well as during those walks around the block. There are a few uh, occasions when a supplement on treat from the kitchen may be alright, but never in excess. Talk to your uh, veterinarian about healthy snacks for your dog's diet. Uh, if you simply must continue feeding Fido at the table, many of vets uh, recommend you give your pets ice cubes or pieces of carrot too much to munch on between scheduled feeding times. Providing your pet these healthy alternatives to pizza and cupcakes gives you the freedom to choose a healthy and nutritious snacks for your dog's diet. So the next time your beloved pet starts eyeing your grub, redirect his or her attention don't reach for your fatty stick or chicken leg. Instead, toss your uh, body uh, a cool, refreshing ice cube to bat around and munch on. A couple of baby carrots will keep Fido happy or leave you feeling good about your choices for the nutritional value of your dog's diet. You will know that you are doing your best to maintain a high quality diet for your pet. See you in the next video. And if you like my video, again, I'm just requesting you to go subscribe and of course share. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.